Welcome to Make the Grade with the success doctor, Stephen Green, where you'll discover actionable strategies to help your student to reach their academic goals, to excel at standardized testing, and to plan for the college admissions process painlessly. And now, here's your host, Dr. Stephen Green. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, Dr. Stephen Green, the success doctor, giving you another episode of the Make the Grade podcast. And uh, hey, we are in some interesting times. Uh, I am recording this right in the middle of this COVID-19 coronavirus uh, shutdown. I don't know what else to call it. Uh, where I am, and I think most of the country, schools are closed, kids are home, uh, a lot of uncertainty, unfortunate, but we're doing what we can to be safe. What I want to do, because you know, this podcast if you're a listener and if you're not, I'm going to tell you, is about action. It's about giving my listeners, parents, students, actions that they can take and things they can do right away to increase their academics, maximize their education, get better grades, get higher GPAs, higher SAT scores, the whole ball wax. So here's what I'm going to talk about today. Uh, where I am, school's been shut about a week. Uh, unfortunately, most of the schools have not provided any sort of direction to the children, I think, uh, and the students. And I, I think that might change soon, but it hasn't happened yet. I've got parents reaching out to me. They just don't, what am I, what am I going to do? I, my kids are bored. I, you know, we're stuck inside. So I'm going to talk about a project I did uh, over the last couple of days with a student I thought was really cool. It was creative. It was fun. Kid enjoyed it. Parent enjoyed it. I enjoyed helping them. So I want to share this, and, and hopefully it'll give you some ideas of just some things you can do. And this is really age independent. We're going to tell you about what something to do with an eighth grader, a uh, 13-year-old, 14 maybe. Um, but I think this could apply at any level, fourth, fifth grade, third grade, twelfth grade, college. But here was the idea. The parent wanted something to keep the kids stimulated, Okay. I don't want them sitting around day playing video games. I don't want them sitting around day doing nothing. I get it. I'm a parent too. We're all parents mostly listening to this podcast, so I get it. So I said, look, instead of just searching the internet and finding, you know, a math website where you do math or whatever, and they exist, and some of them are very good, uh, I said, look, why don't we find something that your kid will like? Now, I've worked with this family. Um, I know the kid's interest a little bit. So we, here's what we worked out, and this is my suggestion, is we decided to cr create an inclusive, multi, uh, multi-faceted project, okay? So in other words, here's what we did. We tried to combine multiple subjects into one thing, math, history, science, English, foreign language even, and geography. So I said to the kid, so look, Give me a list. What are you interested in? Well, it's, a, it's an eight, eighth grade boy. Sports. <laughs> well, if you're in the United States right now, you know it's not much sports going on. Basketball shut down. Hockey shut down. Uh, baseball shut down. Football is kind of in between, whatever. Um, I said, great. So here's what we did. I said, okay, let's get a perspective here. Let's get a perspective. How about if we do, how about if we put together something? Now, you like technology? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, here's what I want you to do. We're going to work on a project. I want you to make a movie or a presentation. We can use Google Slides or PowerPoint or one of these presentation-based softwares or cloud-based software. We're going to make a presentation that involves all these things. So we're going to, what we did was, and he worked on, we made a presentation. I should say he. I helped him a little bit uh, about sports. And I'm not going to get completely specific in the assignment, but he picked a sport and some personalities in that sport. Um, well, might as well. So we talked about baseball and some famous baseball players. And what we did was we did some research. Where did these people come from? That brought geography into it. So one of the things you had to do was get maps, get a map and put a star where the player came from. Where did they play? Uh, another star there. What teams were they on? Another star there. So we got the history. Uh, this person was born here and here. How it aligned with the history of baseball. Um, we got some math in because baseball is one of the sports that has huge amounts of statistics. Batting average, ERA, uh, home run numbers, you know, uh, 
war or war they call it tons of statistics in baseball um, but the point is it's math so now we got history geography math now how do we get science into this hmm. so i said to him hey how can we get science into it so why don't we talk about weather i said great so you know what we did we did research on the percentage of baseball games every year that get rained out hmm interesting you want to make a guess how many think about it i'll answer it later in the broadcast in the podcast um foreign language how do we get that involved so i said to him all right how many baseball players come from countries where English is not their native language? Now, if you know anything about baseball, there's a lot of Latin players from the Caribbean, from South America. Um, there's Japanese. So we did some research. What percentage of baseball players are Spanish speaking? How many are Japanese speaking? We made a circle graph, a uh, pie chart. Last piece was English. That really was an easy one because I said, I want to make sure this is written well. So we had slides. He had to make a summary exercise that was um, a whole page, like a paragraph, an abstract in the beginning, what the presentation was going to be about, conclusion, summary at the end, almost kind of like a lab report, and that brought in English. So doing something that the child enjoyed, we covered history, geography, science, math foreign language, English, technology, brought music in, pictures. It's fun. It took about two days, not, you know, 24 straight hours. But now he's excited. He wants to do another one. So I think there are ways as a parent, and this, of course, depends on how independent your child can work. But uh, as a parent, where you can just give a kid an idea, let them be creative. This is one of the times we can allow to kind of go off the script a little bit in terms of having to do certain homework assignments and having specific things they need to do that day uh, that are due the next day for homework and, and be a little bit more creative. Uh, it's, it's almost like the old style homeschooling model where, you know, if you want to learn about art, you go to a museum, you know, and uh, which I thought was great. So this is just something neat I've been doing. Uh, I've got some other people. I've, I've got different ideas of different degrees of this. Um, and, and I think it's something that, that a lot of families could put together. If you've got multiple kids and they're at different age levels and different interest levels, you're going to have to scale the complexity of the project to, as to you know, their, their uh, particular what's appropriate. So what we're trying to do here is think out of the box a little bit. But yet, at the same time, center it back on the education, center it back on the learning, and center it back on giving kids something that they can invest in and be happy doing. Uh, and that's truly really what I wanted to get at today. Uh, if you hear this in time, I'm going to be doing a series of webinars uh, with information, uh, to-dos, not-to-dos, best practices, for home-based instruction, uh, things like this. So I'm going to keep everybody posted on that, put it in the show notes. So I'm going to keep this one right to the point. Dr. Stephen Green, appreciate it. Love your comments. Really appreciate the subscribers. S-G-R-E-E-N-E at M-A-K-E-T-H-E to your A-D-E dot net. All over social, at Make the Grade Facebook. Consider, please, the Make the Grade Success community. Uh, it's a membership subscription community, but there's so much value in there. I think it'll really help you. Thank you, everyone. Enjoy. And let me know about the projects you make. I would love to hear about them. I'd love to see them. Thank you very much. Till next time. You've been listening to Make the Grade with the success doctor, Stephen Green. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe. For more resources and support, please visit makethegrade.net.